Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing something a little bit differently. Today, we are introducing my friend, Jamie. And we're gonna go into all the details about who Jamie is and how she fits into my life because besides being a friend, she's also distantly related. We'll definitely tell you that story. Today is just a fun get ready with us and introducing Jamie to the YouTube fam. So you guys, before we jump into it, if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. But if you wanna see how we got our makeup looks and how we're related, just keep watching. guys so this is new because I've never had anyone on my channel before but this is Jamie we started out as friends and then found out that we're very 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 distantly related but she came over and we're gonna get ready together and kind of talk about how we met and the craziness because our boyfriends and her husband well my boyfriend her <laughs> husband how many boyfriends you have <laughs> I don't know just Luke when we found out that we were related it was just kind of the of course you are so <laughs> we're gonna start doing our makeup, not really telling everything that we're using. If there's anything you want to know, it is going to be linked down below. I will also link what Jamie uses down below. If I remember, I might show it on screen real quick, but this is definitely new for me because I've never had anyone on my channel before. And uh, welcome to YouTube. <laughs> so what's funny for Jamie is I'm going to start priming my eyes. Oh, you did it. Oh, well, she's already ahead of me. <laughs> I do take a minute to get ready. <laughs> It's okay though. Uh, I just enjoy the process. But you actually know my boyfriend Luke mm -hmm. from back in the day. Yeah, we were in tech core in A school. So I was in the Navy, no longer in the Navy. Um, and I met Luke through school before we both went to the fleet. That was in 2000, 2001? 2001. Yeah, 2000, 2001. Yeah. But what's funny is how you reconnected. Yeah, so we reconnected. My husband is a now newly retired Marine. Yeah. It's weird to say. <laughs> um, and he was stationed with Luke. And during COVID, we couldn't have the Marine Corps birthday balls. So we decided to have our own at breweries. And he was like, oh, you you get to meet my friend Luke. You might know him. He was in the Navy. He was a FC at one point, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, eh. I was like, it's bigger than you think. And then he walks in and we looked at each other and kind of laughed. And Rob's like, don't tell me you guys know each other. I was like, yeah, pretty well. <laughs> so that's how we reconnected. And that was two, three years ago? Two years two ago. Two years ago. Because Luke and I have been together for a year and a half. Yeah, two years ago. So they reconnected before I entered the picture. Yeah, but it still took a couple months before we all hung out and had dinner. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, I reconnected with Luke before you guys went on your first date. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Yes. It was meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> so then Luke comes home and he's like, hey, I want I want you to meet some of my friends. And they invited us over for dinner. So we go and we hang out with Jamie and Rob at their house. And they made dinner and played some games, I think. Oh, we played Jackbox. That was that, a Oh one. my gosh. If you have never played Jackbox, play Jackbox. It is, oh, it's so much fun and you find out how dirty minded your friends are real quick. So we go over, have fun. We start hitting it off and we would hang out a couple more times or go to different breweries or just check some things out. Fast forward to, what was it October, November? We went to the Christmas tree lighting. That was Thanksgiving because my my real mom was in town. We did a huge Thanksgiving and then the next day, that Black Friday, we went to Williamsburg to do the Christmas tree lighting, which was a lot of fun. It was, and it was also right in front of the Scottish store. So I know I haven't really talked about like my complete background on my grandfather's side of my mom or my mom's dad's side they're Scottish and we're in the store and I pointed out the last name uh, Wallace and Jimmy goes oh my god me too I was like what so we start looking into it and her mom confirmed that her family side is also Wallace and then we start looking because I had done my DNA for ancestry and so had she and we start looking at it and everything starts to align like all the numbers and 
the percentages. There's only a couple that are off and, you know, obviously over time through family. And it was actually quite interesting. So we go out and <laughs> Robin and Luke are in front of the Christmas tree and we're like, hey, guess what? You'll never believe this. We're cousins. And they're just like, seriously? Luke, his realization was, wait, if we break up, I lose my friends. <laughs> Rob was okay with it, but he's so used to weird connections with me. He was like, oh, whatever. But no, Luke, Luke lost his mind. That was actually quite funny because he didn't know how to react to it because he never had that really happen to him. But it would explain a lot of like things that we have in common and the coincidences when we get together. Like we will not plan or coordinate our outfits. We will show up wearing the same exact thing. Okay, this was This planned. was coordinated though. I was trying. <laughs> this I did plan. I found my uh, Harry Potter shirt. We love Harry Potter by the way. But we would show up and we would have same colors or similar outfits without planning and the guys just think it's hilarious. They're like, no, no, you guys text message and you coordinated this. And we're like, we didn't. They think we talk way more than we actually do. Well, we do talk a lot, but. I text you when I wake up sometimes. I know, I got those 5.30 in the morning messages. Uh, sometimes I wake up at four and go to the gym. You don't get text at that time. It's usually when I'm getting, like, getting ready to leave the gym and I think of something and I was like, hey, by the way. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at, we're fine. Or if I don't text her first thing in the morning, it'll be when she's, like stuck in traffic because her and Rob work so close that sometimes they'll just carpool in. We work across the street from each other. Well, now you do. <laughs> you were on different bases before. Yeah, that sucked. But it's funny because like between her and I, we're always like planning stuff for us and the guys, which we're supposed to go to. She and I are going to Disney in August. Um, it was supposed to be a couple's trip because the guys love Star Wars, we love Harry Potter, and we're just gonna make it a whole thing. But work schedules for the guys do not coordinate, and uh, now it's just a girl's trip. And it works out because my birthday is the beginning of August, her birthday is the end of August, so we're going kind of the middle of August to go and just do a girl's birthday Disney Universal trip, which I'm excited for. I am too. Hence Epcot behind us. I think I wanna do this orange invention i haven't been using orange until that last video a couple of them back and this shade invention is just like please use me What's that one? that's one you had on the other day vision right i wear vision I like a lot that one. so i wore this palette to work the, the other day mm -hmm. not realizing how orange the pumpkin <laughs> juice and the butter beer were because they don't look they don't look that orange here okay they maybe do on camera but if you swatch them though i, I was getting ready for work i'm not swatching before work they already make fun of me enough. Why? I'm a klutz and I'm a safety director. <laughs> but anyways, I didn't realize how orange they were and I went to work and they all commented. They were like, did you just play in the Halloween makeup? I was like, what the hell? They're so, so nice. They make fun of me a lot at work. That's not it's okay. <laughs> I get them back. This is one of my favorite palettes from Natasha Denona. The My Dream palette. It has some of the prettiest colors. Yeah. But I think I'm gonna do the purple and then add the orange in. So you and Rob have been together for how long? Almost six years. Married, um, we'll have been married five years in February. Hey, I'm putting you on the spot though. Yeah, you are. Well, how we met and all the weird, talking about weird connections, that's probably the most massive one. Why do you say that? So, well, we met because he liked running and stuff, and it was purely like a by accident meeting type thing, you know? Yeah. But um, after we started dating, we found out we had some, some weird connections because you know, he, was, he was in Fallujah, and um, his, the corpsman that pulled him out of the firefight was good friends with my brother. Oh, okay. And went to high school with my brother, and then one of the snipers that was stationed with them there I, I grew up with that family and knew that little brother, so weird connections. That's why Rob doesn't get surprised anymore. <laughs> it's like, of course you know this. It's like, of course. It is what it is. Do I need to deepen this up or is it good? Mm. How much deeper do you want to go? I'm just thinking like add in like the black for smokiness, just like on the outer edge. Oh, that's what I was going to do with this one. Okay. I just get like a little pencil brush. Kind of I don't know, mine's in there somewhere in my controlled chaos. 
we were joking about it before we started to film setting up the table which now i know that i need a longer table for when i have people over but for the last since 2018 i've never had anyone on my channel it's just a solo act but sometimes it gets lonely in here filming by yourself it's nice to have people that are interested in similar things which is why i was like hey let's let's have fun and get ready together but Granted, I can reach into the drawers behind me and grab whatever items I, I want. <laughs> well, I could. You might get mad, though. No. <laughs> a. How many times? Because I did your Curve makeup balls. from Marine Corps. Yeah, you did. So I've done her makeup from Marine Corps. Ball. When I, um, yes, Marine Corps ball. But when I give away makeup, she's one of the friends that gets makeup as well. So I'm not, I don't have an issue with people getting Sweet. reaching into the... This is one of them. Oh, yeah. The Gigi. I don't think I ever used that one. No, it was brand new. Like, it's pretty colors. I just, I never really reached for it. And I don't know why. But that's part of, like, this year, though, too. I had told myself, like, if I don't feel, like, an attraction to the makeup, why purchase the makeup? But I think that was just... Is that, like, the, the feng shui thing? If it brings you no joy, get rid of it? Yep. Okay. I've been doing that with, um, I have, like, a ongoing donation box and as i use something or like my shirts if i go to put it on and i don't want to wear it that day i'll try two more times and if i don't wear it in either of those three times it gets donated um i just why hold on to things that i'm not going to use i'll gladly take them <laughs> <laughs> grandma does that too she's like if you're going to get rid of it let me try it first and i was like absolutely so it has a path it'll go out of the closet into grandma's room she'll try it on and then it goes into the donation box should do elder one or dementor for the shadow mm, i think dementor because the gray will probably wash out on the red okay that's why i have it <laughs> it's not the only reason <laughs> <laughs> no it's usually for its shenanigans hey ashley let's go do this okay and then if there's a good snapchat filter we take a bunch of snapchat photos it's usually after we've been drinking a while, though. <laughs> that's also true. No, that's Which, just when the, the funnier ones pop out. Yes, that's true. I really like this shade. Uh, was it Invention? I really like this. Oh, it's not as orangey as I thought. No, it's... It's more bronzy. Yeah, but it has like an orange under hue, which I really like. And it's buildable, but it's not like in your face neon orange, which I'm okay with. You know what? These shades remind me of Poison Ivy. Her eyeshadow. Yeah. Okay, I see and her how. nails. The one thing we were talking about, and I'm, I wonder if you guys are interested. So definitely comment down below if you are. We were talking about doing a series, because Jamie makes some of the best cocktails. Oh, thanks. Um, hey, they are delicious. The other night, mm, they were so good though. I want to pick up some bitters so that like when we're all hanging out here, we can still like make cocktails and stuff. I have some bitters just not a lot but we were thinking about doing a cocktail and makeup series and doing makeup inspired by the cocktails that we make what do you guys think i know i don't usually like drink on my channel or whatever i might have like this sparkling water but we do like to have you know different cocktails or we do really enjoy bourbon oh. and the breweries great bourbon if you know any good bourbons throw it down. link them down below. link them down below and we'll share some of our favorites but it was just brainstorming one night. We were, we are Old Mariner. We've yeah. been multiple places thinking about this. Coastal, Ironclad, I think Old Mariner. it started with, at Ironclad though, because their new menu just came out. The, the Will yes. Ferrell one. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so good. Uh, if you're in Virginia area, Norfolk, Hampton, Hampton Roads area, definitely check out those breweries and they're a whiskey distillery. Bourbon distillery. Bourbon distillery. Um, absolutely love them. Hmm. I think eyes are good. All right. The other thing that we had like a huge debacle was trying to figure out seating because I only have one chair in here. Seating and where that camera lied. <laughs> so we had to go grab the bar stools, which they're not uncomfortable, but they're not like super comfortable. <laughs> and one of us is a giant compared to the other. I'm five five. I'm six feet. <laughs> Only a slight difference. So trying to figure out the height differential. That's the other thing. I film in pajama pants and then I just wipe my hands on my pajama pants. Like a future reference, I already know to do that. I do that because 
I will wash my pajama pants and the makeup comes off. I'm glad you wash your clothes. Oh, that's the other thing. It's moving Ooh, in. I like the golden snitch on this. It's the first time I've done it on the burgundies and stuff. It's really pretty. I'm a true Gryffindor now. Minus the Dementor. She never knows what I'm going to say. It happens. It's random. And... Oh, what happened? <laughs> I don't know. It was just a... Thing. Oh, um, it probably got stuck in the pump if you haven't used the primer in a while. Trying to retrain Luke on the laundry basket setup. I love that you said retrain. It's true. That man is like set in his ways. Just because you move the laundry basket doesn't mean the process changes. I So we had our own laundry baskets and we didn't do our laundry together. That's how Rob and I do it. Well, I, I asked him because he's at work longer hours than I am. So I was like, I can do your laundry and then I'll just lay it flat for you so you can do what you need to do with it when you get home. But I got a new laundry basket. Uh-oh. Um, where we can separate darks, colors, and lights but that man will throw his light colored socks in with my colors and I'm like, <sighs> sir. Turn them pink ones, you'll learn. Mm. Turn them pink ones. Rob did it. He had a pink undershirt. Whoops. It turned into a rag real quick. I bet. He'd probably use it. He could turn it into a shoe shiny rag. Actually, I think that's what it turned into. I mean, Although he has no need for that anymore. That's true. Won't that be nice that I won't have to like worry about shining the shoes and... I have three years to plan another epic retirement party. Sweet! Party planning mode. It is a little weird being so high up and then everything is like low on the table. I'll be investing in better chairs for the next time. You see what my life is like? That's, that's normal. <laughs> Welcome to being tall. <laughs> I don't know what that feels like. So if you have a long drop... <laughs> Timber! <laughs> be careful of the cliff. What clip? Oh my god. <laughs> you guys will have to let me know, like, any videos you would like to see Jamie and I do. Because we do, I would like to introduce her to YouTube. Something like that. But, that was the other thing is, we're going to Orlando, which we have some ideas for, like, things that we're going to do and whatnot. Around but I would, world. oh, I can't wait for Epcot around the world. But I wanted to introduce her to you guys before we went, so you weren't just going, Hey, who's the weird person in your videos? She picked up a friend at Disney. I mean, that does happen. Yeah, that does happen. If you're a friendly person, people will just naturally gravitate towards you. Or if you're an introvert. Oh, yeah. All when I was time. introverted, people would come up to me all the time. I'm like, I got out of my shell real quick, um, especially in the Navy. You don't have a choice but to come out of your shell because you just have to talk to people. Even if you're not comfortable, they'll be like, hey, so there's this... Uh, exercise and we need you to brief and you're just like how many people are gonna be I there? I still hate briefing. If I but know the subject and I'm comfortable with it I don't mind but there's sometimes they'll be like hey you've got 30 minutes to learn this and I'm like okay that that's okay. like worst nightmare right there. Uh, between being in the Navy, getting a master's, PhD, and being a safety director, briefing an admiral all the time still terrifies me. Yeah well not everyone's comfortable like being in front of people I only started my YouTube because my friend Mary had asked me for help with her makeup and when I sent her the video she was like, you should post this and I was like, I am not posting this. Are you insane? Fast forward and uh, on YouTube? I been, been on YouTube forever. <laughs> it feels like forever. Um, but it's only been, wait, 18, 5 years? Math is hard. I had to count. <laughs> but I did take a year break. So it wasn't a full five years. I would say actively posting. Why'd you take four years? Because I went back on push. Oh, that's right. Okay. I was still in RDC. I didn't know if it was that or you deployed. No, I was still at RTC pushing recruits. And um, pushing means we're <laughs> teaching them and running and just pushing. Pushing does not mean I'm pushing them off a cliff or whatever. We have interesting terminology in the military uh -huh. and... Uh, I'll try and explain it if I can. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna stop here because okay. you wanted me to show you how to cream contour. Yes. So um, I, when I do cream contour, I like doing it after I've done my foundation before I put my powder on. Some primer or some contours and bronzers that are cream are okay on top of powders, but they can lift them. So the one thing that I do is I'll do like right here where my ear is, just that center, and then I push everything up just like powder. But you go lightly so what I've been doing um, 
and I don't have any cream contour palette, but you would just dip in slightly. I would probably go with this shade, but go in very lightly. You could even probably mix it with that peachy shade to make it lighter. But I'm gonna use my Elf Halo Glow All right. contour. So right here, mine's kind of the same way because I use the wand, but just right here. Sorry, I'm kind of using my monitor as my mirror today. <laughs> I'm not used to that, and I'm gonna keep doing it backwards when I look at the monitor. Like, I look it special. Will. Well, because you're not used to it. I don't know. It took me time to, and I still do it, where I will look at the monitor and not the camera. But I do it gently so that you can build it, and you're not like trying to lighten it up because that's a little bit harder to do. You just pull it forward however far you want it. So. Mine is actually pulling up on camera pretty good, but do you want the clips? They're right there underneath the mirror. Oh, it did pull up for it. No, it's more. I don't know where to look. Oh, so I would just look in your mirror and then whenever you're talking at the camera, nothing too crazy. So like I'll do my contour and then, so today I'm going to do a cream bronzer. So I'll do my cream bronzer and then my uh, concealer and then powder. If you're doing a powder bronzer, then um, I'm bring me in my bronzer. But you could actually use your cream. Yeah. Oh, this. Mm-hmm. Which one's a bronzer? The dark. Still learning shade. makeup, guys. <laughs> this one. We love makeup, but it's always a learning curve because you never know. You said this one. I would, but I would go gently into it. And you put it in the same spot. Uh-uh. Where I'll show you. What's funny is I stand up and I'm. <laughs> <laughs> See? Hi, difference. <laughs> I haven't moved. If I stand up, I think they're gonna get a camera oh, full of something. Lord. I'm not standing up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just gonna do your contour a little bit more. So honestly, contouring is all about what you're comfortable with. But... It'll come with time as you use it more, too. But what it'll do is the shadow underneath here will start to push up your cheeks a little bit all right now for bronzer and it's just up by the temples temple forehead area. yeah not too far down either because you don't want like you don't have a huge forehead so you don't need to like do too much whereas i've got a five head i was about to say that <laughs> <laughs> i am well aware of my five head i was made fun of for it in school kids are mean they would call it a solar panel. <laughs> Kids are evil. I was not okay with it when I was a t when I was young and a teenager, <laughs> but um, I got over it. I I'm okay with it. I know how to bronze it. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to fix it. Yep. Yeah. All this to go to Yakiniku. I know, right? <laughs> Really, it was just, hey, let's have some fun and play with makeup. Yeah. I've got to catch up real quick. Okay. I'm just going to use my Huda Beauty Tan Tour. And look, I'm short again. <laughs> so that's the other thing. We're going to take Grandma to get all you can eat yakiniku for lunch. She ever had yakiniku before? Yeah, when she visited me in Japan. Oh, I forgot she did. I miss it too. Oh. You okay? I went, almost dropped Oh, I went heavy. Whoops. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Oh. <laughs> this is why you have a mirror. Don't trust the monitor. <laughs> Hey, I can't. remember, I still have powder. It's gonna, it's gonna tone it down. I can't stop <laughs> laughing at you right now. I can't. I'm not going near my eye laughing right now because of you. It will tone down. <laughs> I'm putting powder on it. Hey, sometimes you have mistakes. It's just a matter of, you know, figuring out how to fix them. Oh, did I send you the 4th of July um, firework shoot-off thing on Instagram? No. I'm gonna send it to you. I sent it to Rob yesterday, and he was like, here's your next safety brief. Oh, Lord. It's like National Lampoon's good. Yeah, you gotta send that to me. Are you okay? I'm <laughs> looking at you in the monitor, because I, that's all I caught out of my corner of my eye. It was you putting that on. Like, what I should have done, and hindsight's always twenty twenty. I should have posted on Instagram on my stories and said that I, we were filming together and see if there was any questions that they would want to ask. We could do that next time. Yeah, I was about to say there's... There's always next time. 
So on our trip in August, what are you looking forward to the most? Me? Um, Besides just getting away? Well, there's that, but like we have so much planned. I'm excited for Harry Potter. I mean, I've been to both of them, you know, Universal and Islands of Adventure, but there's been so many changes in it. Oh my goodness, yes. I'm so excited. Oh, really excited about Star Wars because Ahsoka comes out two weeks after we're there. So there's probably going to be something building up to Ahsoka. I that just so. makes the guys jealous, so that's worth it. That's also true. The guys are going to be so... So my husband and her boyfriend, huge Star Wars fans, so much so that my dog's name is Vader. Dog Vader, not Darth Vader, Dog Vader. With Ahsoka coming out August 23rd, they're like super jealous that we get to go to Star Wars Land or Galaxy's Edge, and they don't. But we'll um, bring stuff back for them though. Yeah. That's also something that they know. Well, Rob does. I'm not sure Luke does. I haven't told him that I'm bringing him anything back. Oh. No, well, that's why he doesn't think so. Um, he hasn't asked for anything in particular though. I'm surprised he hasn't asked for- oh no, he has a lightsaber. He wouldn't ask for one. No, he doesn't. I thought he did have one. No, remember the debacle at Christmas time? <gasps> oh, that's right. So Christmas time, I was trying to order a lightsaber for Luke for Christmas. It never showed up. I felt so bad because it was really what I had like based his entire Christmas present around. And I, I know everything was based around that, wasn't it? Yes. And then it didn't show up. I was like, crap, where do I get him now? Well, then Invicta had the Star Wars watches. And I was like, you know what? There's so many different ones. Like, let me, I was showing them to him and he was like, oh, I really like this one. And he told me which one he really liked. Is it Darth so, Vader? Uh, it's the, um, what's the big spherical base? Uh, the Death Star? That. That's what Rob's cake is for his birthday. Well, thankfully this will be up after Rob's birthday. He's not gonna watch this before his birthday. He's also not gonna watch a makeup tutorial. Although, you're in it, so he might... You give him a lot of credit. She, what, he, can we talk about? Oh yeah, story? that he might. I don't know. Inside, inside the mind of Ashley and Jamie. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, actually, that might scare him. <laughs> no, he, he hangs out with us a lot, though, when Luke's on duty. Usually when we're planning something, if it involves certain stuff, he'll like, did you ask Ashley? Like, when we were deciding to go to Fuller's. It's like, did you ask Ashley? We have some favorite spots to go to, and oh, yeah. Rob and I both like raw oysters, and they have some of the best in the area. Jamie does not. But when it's they're going, the they'll let me know, and then we all just go to dinner together. Although this last time was pretty fun. Yeah, we took grandma with us last time. And... I'm proud of myself on <laughs> So grandma doesn't like, like raw oysters either, but she loves seafood. Yeah, except I keep my comment to myself. Huh? I said I keep my comments to myself, though. About what? Oysters. Oh. So I'll usually turn my camera off when I do it. Okay, dinner. then I'll wait. Because um, I do actually need, like, the mirror for that. I'm still trying to think what was, am I really excited for. I think around the world for Epcot. I, I think, yeah, I think that's a big one. And then, oh, Animal Kingdom. Yep. I'm excited for Animal Kingdom. I've ran through it recently because I did the Wine and Dine 5K a couple years ago. But I haven't, like, actually walked through it. The last time I did, I was a teenager. Have you ridden, you haven't ridden this ever then, have you? Uh-uh. I haven't ridden any of the rides in Animal Kingdom in over 20, 20 years. That means you've never done Avatar. No. Oh, that one. Like, I'm a coaster junkie. You know that. Love mm -hmm. coasters. Afraid of falling, but love coasters. Um, <laughs> um, the out of at Animal Kingdom between Mount or the Everest Expedition, which is so much fun, the Avatar ride, which I don't remember the actual name of it, I just call it the Avatar ride. It's so fun, but the line is always amazingly long. Like I believe it. When I was there, oh gosh, I haven't been to Disney since. Well, really been to Disney because I went with Rob right before we got engaged in 2019, but. In 2018, exactly five years ago, I was in Disney. the The line for Avatar ride was three and a half hours long. Now you see, see the lines are atrocious sometimes. But there's way Disney's got their ways to get to be able to ride the stuff and get in the line. And yeah, stuff there's like, like that. Fast Pass and stuff like that. Well, it's called Genie Plus now. It's oh, like that's Fast true. Pass around. So. Well, I think Fast Pass is Busch Gardens. 
No, it was Disney. You're right. Was it? it was Disney. They re- just renamed it because they made it to the Genie Plus. Got it. Well, they had called it the Genie. You can pay for the Genie Plus, which is what we were talking about doing. I just don't um, go to Disney like that. Like, I always find myself at Universal and Islands of Adventure over Disney. No, but Disney as an adult is actually a lot of fun. Magic Kingdom is, is fun. Only place in Disney you can't drink, by the way. Not that that's all we do, but besides the mountains, which Splash Mountain's not there anymore, they're re- changing it into something else. Thunder Mountain, um, Space Mountain. Yeah. I mean, you you have the, the rest of them are kids' drives. Yeah, you have the Jungle Cruise. You have the Haunted uh, Mansion. The Haunted Mansion. Uh, but even then, like the Pirates of the Caribbean, and it's a small world. We are not going on into small world. Uh uh-uh. uh. Okay, that. cool. I hate that song. So when I was there I will last push somebody time, on the boat. When I was there last time, it was my friend Brittany and um, her now husband. But she had never been to Disney before, and I was like, if you want to go to the kingdom, we'll go, and then we'll hit what you want and head somewhere else. Because I, I like kids. I don't like lots of them all at once. Um, and Disney Magic Kingdom is... Kids Central. Yeah. I like kids. I like my friend's kids. I, at one point, thought about having kids, but with the military life, I just... It wasn't what I wanted to do. I felt so bad for my friends who had kids that deployed a lot yes every time they deployed and they'd come back and they're like my kids are strangers they don't know me and i don't know them and they're into these things and there's just so many things that you miss and i was just like i don't know that i want to do I don't that know how pe- the dual military do it that's because that's a like off you're always like high-fiving and one of you's going on deployment like <sighs> literally passing ships yes but like um, my friend's kids are. no i agree with you uh magic kingdom by far is where like all the kids go because it's the castle it's where mickey is it's blah, 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 right and it's fun to go but like i said besides the coasters getting the pictures and then walking right out of the park <laughs> yeah. so no i think well luckily mgm or hollywood whatever it's called now i know it is mgm so um i think it's hollywood studios pretty sure it is i don't know it's always will be mgm though but um, we both grew up in Florida, so yeah. We so it's time. MGM Studios, but luckily, M- Hollywood Studios and Epcot are back to back, so you can just take the boardwalk back and forth. Oh, nice! I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Um, we are staying on property, which that ooh, worked out. The new gondolas. Oh, so one of my memories that popped up yesterday. It was funny. It's um, uh, me standing in front of the sign saying what the new construction was, and was those sky rides that go from Art of Animation and Pop Century over to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. Oh, nice. And I was like, huh, I finally get to ride it now. (laughs) So those, at least we have that option and then the bus to get over, which those come so often. Yeah, I think Animal Kingdom and Epcot, I'm kind of looking forward to. Those are like the adult spots. Yeah, I'm excited because I haven't been to either of them in forever. Oh, there was an Instagram thing. I gotta see if I can find it again because of course I forgot to save it that showed a spot in, I want to say Universal, that you can get an alcoholic butterbeer instead of just the regular one. But oh, it's frozen. I saw that. But it's the frozen one, which is the better one in August in Florida. I think I sent that one to you. Okay, maybe that's when I saw it and why I didn't save it. We send each other a lot of things and then we forget to put them in our like plans. <laughs> so that week may be a lot of just winging it. We have a mini kind of structured thing. Yeah, but if you t- plan too many things and then something doesn't work out, then, like, what's the backup? But if we just wing it, we're never disappointed that we're not able to do something. I like that. We're planning to go to this theme park. The rest of it, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. All right, so I think I'm ready for brows, liner, and mascara. So, this girl, too. All right, we'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, you guys, we're back, and this is our final looks. <laughs> I, we were just joking about it because um, we were doing our, I was doing my lips and we were talking about our fun adventures with lipstick and yeah, so we've just been giggling. Sorry. And then I made the comment about, crap, I've never closed out my video with someone else before. But you guys, this is our final looks. Um, I'm so glad I got to introduce you to my family. Started out friends and found out that we're very distantly related, but we always have a blast together. Let me know if there's any questions you guys have or suggestions for videos that you want to see and I'll definitely bring Jamie back to return on the channel. We do have the thought process of doing a makeup and cocktail series. If you guys are interested in that, comment down below that you're interested and we will definitely start putting some of those together because 
we have our cocktail connoisseur. And I don't mind trying them. <laughs> matching a makeup look to it. But you guys, that is it for this video. Goodbye to Jamie. Bye guys. She'll be back though. So before you leave, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Until my next video, you guys. Bye. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.